Hello everybody, it's your boy Bryce Pitts, 01. Welcome back to another good old WWE action figure review video today. So we're going to be finishing up uh, the good old WWF Series 8 with the Ultimate Warrior. So you probably might remember this look when he was old and he talks about that amazing promo that he had at the um, Hall of Fame, if I'm correct. I mean, I'm pretty sure he had that iconic talk at uh, the Hall of Fame and stuff. So I'm pretty sure I'm finished with this series, I think, because I already reviewed um, Jake the Snake Roberts, if I'm correct. I could be wrong on that. I did Eddie Guerrero. And I did Mr. Wonderful Paul, and then I did, now, now I'm doing right now, is uh, the good old Ultimate Warrior. So, if you guys want to pause and read about him, you guys are absolutely welcome to. So, those are the titles that he won. Alright, enough talk. Let's just get him out of his packaging. And yes, by the way, I did get this figure at the uh, toy store too, because it has that little iconic price sticker on there. I also got um, Stacy Keebler too as well, which you'll see that in the next video, I promise. I'll tell you all about it, but for right now, let's open up Ultimate Warrior. Well, here he is out of his packaging, the main man himself, good old Ultimate Warrior in his regular suited attire. Kind of like, you're kind of giving me like general manager vibes or maybe like a, like a person in the back to make like a little cameo and to like break the wrestlers up if they're having a fight kind of like that type of vibe but you know here he is himself and he comes with this little cool mask his cool little mask that you can pull off and pull on so this is what it looks like here let me get the camera to focus here I like the details I like the little green purple and a little bit of orange slash peach I possibly believe so and of course he comes with this classic WWE Scribble Scrabble microphone, which such such an iconic. I love this logo. It's definitely like the best logo. Probably my second favorite logo, but the original logo that we all know and love today is the updated WWE logo that we still have to this very day in this modern era. So here's the figure himself. He does come with interchangeable hands. He comes with pointer fingers. So uh, this does come off. It's cloth. So that's kind of very nice. We'll, we'll definitely review this jacket, but for right now, let's just focus on the figure. So he's kind of like wearing just a regular tuxedo suit. I feel like if I got another, if I can get an extra figure of him, I can probably make a Vince McMahon out of this. I don't know why, because I've kind of been waiting for a younger, well not younger, but like older Vince McMahon in 2023. So, I kind of really want that. I really need a Vince McMahon in my collection. I mean, I know I have the younger Vince McMahon, but I don't want to use that McMahon. I want to use the modern, older Vince McMahon. Or maybe a little bit in the Attitude Era. It doesn't really matter. Hopefully, we'll get a Vince McMahon figure soon. Maybe, since the whole what's it called has been going on. But, hey. So, the head does go 60 degrees. Uh, he, de he definitely can look up about this much, and then he can look down about kind of that much so uh, his arms do go 60 degrees this is 60 degrees on this side both arms from the left and right uh, this also moves which is very very nice uh, this also moves too then you get loose which is very good I like that it's a good sign and then the hands you just bend them like that up down and spin them around Up, down, and around. Just like that. So, And uh, he can split his legs, which is a good thing because he's an elite figure. Um, he does, his left knees and his right knees do bent, which is very good. He got some rubber, he got some overcut here going on here. Uh, or his legs, or his hip side moving, so that's pretty good. You got some very nice uh, gentlemen's warehouse shoes or tuxedo shoes, which is very very nice. Of course, we're gonna get some ankle pivot. That's that's a very nice ankle pivot going on there. Uh, I don't think it can bend that much. 
The only thing that you can do with it is just do some ankle pivots. But hey, I'm, I'm alright with that. I can't go wrong with ankle pivots. So if you want to add the microphone to his hands, you just stick it right into the little handhole that he's got there. Get to make sure the scribble scrabble thing is shown in there. You just shove it right up in there as you can. Or bend the hands a little bit. And there you there you go. He's got the microphone in his hand and he's ready to make a promo. Short and sweet will um leave the interchangeable hand so you just pop it off and make sure you get the right hand that he's choosing. And then you just stick it right on there. And then there you go. He can just make a promo saying, you, John Cena, you will be going one-on-one -on -one with the phenomenal AJ Styles. And, you know, you can use your imagination. You can control the, control, you can control the action of your action figures. So, you can do absolutely whatever you want. If you don't want the pointer hands, you can just go back to his regular hands. And then you just push that bad boy right down and, and no big deal. Just like that. Very simple. Very easy. And now we can get on to the soft goods. So here is younger Ultimate Warrior in the 90s holding the classic WWF slash WWE Intercontinental Championship. And uh, you have uh, you got somebody's name on here. Or should I say always... Always believe. That's what it says. Okay, cool. Very awesome. Very awesome. Very nice. I like that messaging right there. Always believe. That's what it says on both of these long sleeves on this very awesome entrance wrestling jacket. If you want to put it back on him, all you got to do is you take off the mic off of his hands here. And then you can just slide it in there on in both of these arms here. That's why I love cloth stuff because it makes it so much easier and it's much better than those ridiculous bike plastic little you know how they is you know how it is like the plastic jackets and stuff Ooh, they need to stop making those and start making more of uh more of these because they're just more nicer and more soft by the way love the material love the material here's my side by side comparison to the young ultimate warrior versus the old ultimate warrior so this is him young back in the past this is the um the wwf elite series 17 with the phenomenal aj styles aka his tna look with Shawn Michaels and uh, Kim Shamrock. So here he is. I know he has an interchangeable head sculpt, but I'm going with this one for now. So I know I have more Ultimate Warrior figures. I have a few, but I decided I wanted to pull out the seven Elite Series 17 for the WWF Series. So there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoy, 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 enjoy this amazing video. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.